What is going on all my collectors? Welcome to the West Collects YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, ring the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post videos and when I go live right here on YouTube. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. If you like the content that I put out, by all means smash the like button. I definitely would appreciate it. Welcome back to another video. And today, we got an epic unboxing from Epic Collectibles from an upcoming movie. That is going to be a banger once it release in the movie theaters, y'all. So sit back, relax, go grab a snack, and let the episode begin. Alright, so hopefully everybody is having a wonderful day. This package just arrived, so we're going to crack this thing right on open. First and foremost, I want to give a thank you to Epic Collectibles on their fast shipping. If you're not familiar with them, I will leave their Instagram handle down in the description. Uh, they do have a warehouse here located in California. So these got to my door the next day after I placed my order. When I seen these three Funko Pops on their website, I did not hesitate. I went ahead and added them straight to cart because I wanted these for the upcoming movie that is going to be in theaters soon. And when I show you these Funko Pops, then you'll know exactly what movie I am talking about. Mm, they did some great tape on this one here. Alright, so. Packaging is looking good. Like that. This is immaculate, man. They even put the pops in a soft protector as well. Did they? They did. That's what's up. This first Funko Pop I'm going to show you guys is a art series Funko Pop. This is dope. Um, and when the other characters become available, I will be on the hunt for them as well. This is a Target exclusive, and I am talking about the Riddler from Batman Forever. So check that out. This is dope, yo. This is definitely dope. I told you guys in the previous video that the first Batman is the one that uh, I got hooked on from 1989. And then I told you my favorite villain from Batman was the Riddler because Jim Carrey played one hell of a role. And this is the movie that Jim Carrey played in Batman Forever. So McDonald's had that huge promotion with the cups you can buy, uh, the toys in the Happy Meal. Also, there was a ride at Six Flags uh, related to this movie. Yo, this movie right here was the joint right here, y'all. So check out the Riddler art series. Definitely looks dope. Like how they got the riddles all over him. Uh, got the little, uh, what you call this thing? Like the little, the little Riddler cane. Check that out on the side of the box. The little Riddler cane right there. Here is the back of the box. There is the other side. And here is the front once again. Yo, when I seen this sitting on their website, I was like, I cannot pass. I have to grab this, yo. It was only $20. That is, to me, like the regular price for Art Series Funko Pops. And so I did not hesitate on buying this one right here. It does have that special edition sticker, as you can see. And, yeah. Like I said before, uh, the other characters, I believe, from Batman Forever or from other variations of the Batman movies is coming out. I've seen Mr. Freeze. And who else did I see? Uh, Catwoman. Yeah, so Mr. Freeze and Catwoman should be releasing soon. I'm going to check back on the website to see if they have it up on there. And if they do, then I will be ordering those and bringing them to you guys in a future video. So, one last look at art series, The Riddler. And I would take them out of the box, but we're going to keep them right up in there. So, check that out. Yes, sir. This next Funko Pop I'm going to show you guys is from the upcoming movie, The Batman. And you know I'm excited about for this movie to release 
So when I seen these Funko Pops on Epic Collectibles website, like I said, I'll say it again, I did not hesitate. I added these straight to cart. First one we got, Bruce Wayne. Check that out. Now, if you look on the Funko website right now, you can order most of these Funko Pops off of the Funko website. I already placed my order in, just waiting for those Funko Pops to arrive in the mail. And once they do, I will show you guys right here on the channel. So check out Bruce Wayne. Got his nice little suit on. And somebody is at my door, but we're going to continue shooting this video. I will get to that momentarily. Here is the side of the box. Here is the rest of the set that you can collect on the back. Check that out. You got three different types of Batman back there. You got the new Riddler. You got Catwoman. And you got Oswald. So definitely dope. Like I said, can't wait for these to come in the mail. And you guys will see exactly what I ordered. Here is the side of the box. And it's really not much to this Funko Pop right here. You know, it's just plain Jane old Bruce Batman. Bruce Batman. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> so, yeah. Pop number 1193. Last and final Funko Pop I'm going to show you guys is another one from the upcoming movie, The Batman. And, yes, this is the second variant of Bruce Wayne. Check that out. He has these dark, mystical eyes. And until I watch the movie, then I will exactly know what the world is going on. He has... Oh, no. I, I can already see from looking at the Funko Pop exactly what's going on here. So I, I'm assuming that's his makeup from his mask or whatever the case may be. Because he has on his Batman suit, as you can see right there. Check out the side of the box. Here is the back. And the other side as well. Now, I like how Epic Collectibles did. They went ahead and put these Funko Pops in a soft protector in their own protectors. See if the camera will pick that up if you can see that. Let me just turn it around a little bit right there. They got their little stamp on the lid. That is actually a dope thing to do. I appreciate that, man. That's right. Already in the protector for me. All I got to do is just put it back there on my wall, add it to my collection. But of course, uh, it's not placed in properly. So they got it facing forward. The lid to me supposed to be in the back, but I will change that after video. So one more look at Bruce Wayne in the Batman suit without the mask. Check out that special edition sticker. Sorry for the lighting. I see it's kind of glaring all on the box. Kind of set the settings too high today. So we will dumb that down in the next video. <laughs> but he looks dope. So please leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know if you're going after the new Batman movie Funko Pops. For me, it is a must-have, a must-grab, and a must-one that I need for my collection. So they are now here. And yeah. I'm going to try to get most of these when they release. I definitely want to grab those chases along with the Funko Shop exclusives when those release as well. That is going to conclude today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you already know what to do if you haven't done it already. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what was your favorite Funko Pop from today's video. For me, it's between the art series The Riddler and Batman Bruce Wayne without the mask. I like both of those two. The plain Bruce Wayne in the suit is okay, but it ain't in the top rankings in my category. So, once again, leave your comment down in the comment section on your favorite. And i see you guys in a brand new video soon. Everybody have a blessed day, blessed night, and I'm out of here. Peace.